Cool. Troubled by the lack of control it was able to exert over the renegade demons, the ultimate evil traveled north into the Plaguelands. This area was home to the undead, who had eked out an existence there while the Alliance was marching against the Horde in the west. There's a split. The east remained quiet. However, a few demons had fled the fight against the ultimate evil, and so the free city of Bentos was about to experience a somewhat lively day. After the demons had escaped the ultimate evil, it was very keen to bring undead creatures back under its control. To this end, the evil traveled to an area that was formerly known as the Plaguelands. At one time, a huge cemetery graced the countryside here, providing a happy place for the undead to hang out. Assuming the undead ever had any concept of happiness, that is. But that was 20 years ago. Since then, the Alliance had turned this place into the Poshlands. Poshlands. A terribly good place. <laughs> for sure, sure. Due to its dubious past. The ultimate evil would first need to take care of those guards and completely destroy the place before it could take control of the undead. Major offensive starting in 30 minutes. Oh, God, no! Although the Horde was still exposed to constant Alliance attacks, the offensive, tactic-loving evil did not hesitate. It sent some cannon fodder, oh sorry, creatures, to the surface. Fucking love pancakes, unless they're boobs. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like, even if they are, I'm still, I'm still a, still a fan. Yeah, Jesus, I'm just kidding. I'll take them too. Fuck it. What am I fucking saying? Oh shit. The capital of the Poshlands lay in the northwest of the country. Hipster Bridge. Yes. Hipster Bridge. I'm just being incredibly aggressive right now because Despite I think that's gonna benefit me. Hipster Bridge was heavily guarded and would resist attack by all means possible. The horde would have to work hard here to bring the city back into the playgrounds. There we there go, level them up. Your Where did they come from? All right, hurry up and kill them. Let's go out this one. We need to explore. was a small alliance military camp to the south which guarded the border to the Poshlands. An attack from inside the Poshlands would be sure to surprise them. I maybe should have waited for the debris the defibr mat to get built. This guy's taking so much damage and it's not bothering him at all. All right, the defibrillator mats up. Do I have enough room for it? I hope I do. Fucking, come on. Quick, destroy it. 
think this will be incredibly beneficial, hopefully. Because it'll be one less, I think it's like one less doorway that I'm gonna have to fucking like wash. That could withstand the ultimate evil's horde. The Correct. Military camps in the south were obviously not I'm just trying to be a lot more aggressive this time. They disappeared from the surface faster than a brain amidst a horde of zombies. I have three minutes before the full on offensive. Let go, you did avoid. Dude, all the fucking gains. All the fucking gains. We love the fucking gains. Let's fucking go, guys. Get them, boys. Make them dead. Might be able to take out some of this shit in the south. What's hitting me? That's fine, there's more. Okay, what's important is that we're like converting this stuff into my land so that way I can. In the east of the posh lands lay a small alliance camp that looked after the area's agriculture. This wouldn't be of much help against a bunch of crazy... That way I can fucking, uh... I just don't like how low everybody's HP is. That's why I built the defibra mat, though, because... outpost in the east was unable to resist the horde another part of the posh lands fell to make room for some beautiful tombs from which undead would soon rise okay it sucks but like i just got to bring all these guys back and let them heal up and stuff for this last minute i don't know what the major offensive is i don't know if that just means i'm going to just start getting steady waves of fucking bullshit i also don't know why i haven't come across another mana crystal I'm so dumb. It's I'm really so dumb. Why didn't I fucking build traps? All hands on decks, motherfuckers. All hands on decks. Let's go. We're moving in. Make them bleed. Give them steel. For the Lord. I've had my hand on my deck all night. Way ahead of you, fucker. They're coming some more. Here comes some more. From the book, Plague Lands, until the morning mists arise. The undead in these lands were a scary bunch. They lacked any of the glitz and glamour, which we now associate with the undead, particularly vampires. It would be completely futile to search for a teen love story anywhere around here. This really is about to get fucking way out of fucking hand. Because uh, I was telling my friend at work about this game and he ended up looking up Dungeon 4. He just typed in Dungeons and Dungeon 4 was what came up. It looked a lot more intuitive. Alliance forces have been defeated, and with them, the armies of good have been driven back. It's not will work faster. That sounds like it would be incredibly useful for a number of reasons that I don't feel like I need there to even explain. In your dungeon. Really? Oh god, and a lot of them, actually. Fuck me. Fuck me up. Kill the pixies. Okay. 
Who's in here still? You, you. 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 Both of you. Get in here and fucking earn your keep. Stanley was wondering whether he should return to his desk. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in the wrong script. Those goblins are kind of useless. It's impressive you can play all these different games. Oh yeah, man, you just got to get into them and just like give everyone like a real honest effort. Lands directly at a making me blush lay the small but well how are you night robbie bunny it's good seeing you man i'm glad you came back towards the dungeon from here as well and we get all kinds of variety going on here actually i think i need to take out that fucking catapult but first this tower take the catapult that catapult's just gonna do some serious damage to me i can't just sit around and like not do it Get rid of their respawn capabilities and then fuck up their fucking tower, dude. We're gaming. We're gaming. We're gaming. All right, can we do it? Oh, we're about to cut these motherfuckers off at the pass. Or are they already in the dungeon? Did they already make it in? Hey, you guys. Oh, there's a lot of them. Holy shit. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I got an ability that lets me summon uh, Warhounds to aid me in the fighting. I think we're going to still try it anyway. There's two of them side by side here, though. Makes me a little nervous. Actually, get back here. You, rock troll. Get right here. Oh, I need to know how to entrench. Only 20 years lay between the deadly plague lands and the unpleasantly swanky posh lands. It was incredible what a little pink could do. Yeah, honestly, just get in there and destroy it together. Oh, that hurts so bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're using actual guns against me. Might be biting off more than I can chew right here. Elves. It's payday. I don't know why he ran off there by himself. I gotta get out of here. Oh god. Escape, gentlemen. Why aren't you running? Oh, it's because he's fucking ensnared. I mean, uh... He fell for the she-devils. 
They charmed him. Enemies this is bad, gentlemen. The dungeon. Come on, dude. You can get away. You're stronger than that, Ironhide. Get over here. Oh, God. What the fuck is this? I hate this, guys. This is fucking bullshit. go up this way because I got some beef with this fucking camp of motherfuckers right here pissing me off there's so many so many fucking things for me did I research I don't know if I researched it I did improved healing no wonder I was staying my health was staying so good oh look at that HP heal they used to only do one now they're doing like nine and like five tens oh guys oh guys do you feel it do you fucking feel it do you feel it in your bones we're here to conquer Witness me. By the way, did you know that in the first dungeons, a certain Calypso, not to be confused with the great publisher Calypso, joined in the game? Feel it deep inside me. I want to astound you with this momentous bit of trivia. You really should get back to playing the game again. I trample upon you as if you are weeds in my garden. For all that you see before you is mine, and I shall claim it. Kill the bunny. Hopefully not too deep. Hopefully the deepest. So this game has a multiplayer, and I just have no idea how that would actually work. kill this mage oh he lasted five seconds mission accomplished the posh lands were history so three cheers for the plague lands it wouldn't be long before the undead would rise again skeletons zombies white wanderers well maybe not the latter and guys, they did. To be honest, they were actually less than the astounded evil expected. But still, it used its mental abilities to reach out to them in order to seize them and to bring them under its control. But the evil did not succeed. Oh, Another shit. power had already taken possession of them. A massive shape rose from a crypt in the east. It started to speak in the ultimate evil's direction. You hold no power here. 
I will only obey the king of Gondor. I mean the ultimate evil. It is time for you to die, oh living ones. This was a tad unexpected for the ultimate evil. It would seem there was an imposter out there trying to use Zerp its title. It would have to worry about that later, though. This threat had to be dealt with first, as the undead were obviously we're splitting the forces. Fight with the horde. It could safely be assumed that whoever was controlling the undead was doing so from somewhere up in the wild region of the Plaguelands. The ultimate evil would need to send its troops there in order to eliminate this threat. This is actually kind of wild, though. Like, the actual, like, storytelling and stuff that happens whenever you're, like, playing through and the way all the scenery changes. Like, this game truly is actually really brilliant in how it, like, conveys what it is. Thoroughly impressed am I. Payday. And they're killing me with these wanting wages and shit, dude. Oh, there's... Oh, is there still a camp? That I did not previously foresee? We're not even gonna bother with those. Fuck them. Unnecessary. My guys are getting pretty strong too, man. They're hitting like trucks. This is a lot of fun whenever you actually get some force behind you. Actually moving some troops and stuff. Payday. There are enemies in your dungeon. Oh, are they? Gotta take care of this real quick. Did I take them all with me? I thought I left some people with me. Fucking good luck. My one guy. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Griffins. Oh, they got taken out by the fucking... They didn't even make it past the things. We're fine. What was I worried about? What was I even worried about? strange figure appeared just like it had done several times before Malachi features of the unspeakable evil paused confused 
uncertain what to do. You fool! I warned you not to start a civil war! For that, you will pay! That's so? Check. With these words, the mysterious figure disappeared once again. Probably hadn't had enough breakfast. Never mind. There's a skeleton king in the crypt just waiting to be pounded into a pulp by the horde. You shouldn't keep him waiting. That would be rude. You're gonna pound him into a pulp? A little pulp sickle? What's this, what's this little circle here? That looks sus. Oh, I wish I had a, uh... We have to very carefully navigate this. I don't know how to do this properly, but I'm going to start with just like one or two of them. Like a few of them that can like just hold their own. Fucking thing, idiots. Big dumbs, big dumb dumbs. All right, next few. Little trap navigation. I don't understand why it doesn't let me like, uh, it like doesn't let me make goblin assassins. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do in that regard. Plus, all these numbers popping up, super satisfactory. He's probably my most expensive unit. You, you're not getting any more pay. That'll teach you to get promoted. As well as countless undead, these underground catacombs were also home to some giant rats. It might be possible for the almighty evil to make use of the fact that these rats were only too happy to gnaw a few bones and set these two factions on each other. So a way to turn the rats against the undead? I mean, it makes sense. I don't know how I would go about doing that, but... Shit. This is where the dead do rest. There is no place for me here. Meet my sword. Frostgar is hungry. 
It was obvious that negotiations were not an option here. Therefore, the powerful evil chose one of its most well-proven tactics to solve the problem. Hit it till it stops moving. Hit it till it stops moving. That's right. I remember learning that in school. The Skeleton King was unable to withstand the unspeakable evil's creatures and crumbled to dust under their mighty blows like a vampire in sunlight. Just like a proper vampire does. Not one of those little twilight woodies. The undead remain completely unimpressed and steadfastly refused to be controlled by the ultimate evil. Something out there was stopping them. What kind of school was this? Without a leader, they were no longer a threat to the horde. They just trudged about mindlessly, completely devoid of control. They were therefore useless to the ultimate evil. So the evil pushed on towards King's Ending in order to destroy the Alliance's remaining heroes there. Well, that's dumb. I ended up just not getting the undead.